Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink, Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a carousel horses card for you. This is the third in a series I have using this stamp set. Um, we're gonna use the smaller horses for this card and we're gonna use some of these dies to create this adorable little carousel. Um, I'm using some of the soft shimmer specialty paper that's new as well as gold foil. All right, I think the first thing that we'll do is our stamping. So I've got my two horses here set up on one block. And if I can get my ink from over on the other tray, we're gonna ink it up in Memento Black. Okay, so we'll just stamp that right there. Now, there are some little accessory stamps you can use to color in their mane and their tail. There's also this saddle. Um, I have found that I like to color most of it with my Stampin' Blends, but I am gonna use this little saddle detail just to add a little bit of color um, and um, texture to their saddle. Now, if you have a stamp positioning tool, you can use that here. And I just hit the camera with my head. I'm gonna see if I can stamp it by myself all right looks pretty good i've got to pull it way down guys let's see if i can get this one lined up eh, not quite as good but good enough all right i'm gonna take my um let's see we're gonna use bubble bath we'll use dark bubble bath for their mane and uh tails this is a stamp and blend. It's an alcohol marker. So you want to make sure you use a non-alcohol ink. So that's why I stamped them in Memento Black. And I'm just gonna go around. I'm using the bullet end of my marker. It has two ends. One is a bullet end, one is a brush. I prefer the bullet end, especially on small spaces um, like these guys are. Now I'm gonna take uh, my Fresh Freesia and I'm gonna color in every other little segment here on the pole that our little carousel horses are on. And they're so small, you just kinda wanna tap that color into that segment. So Berry Burst, Bubble Bath, and Fresh Freesia are the colors we have used. All right, let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. We're gonna do a lot of cutting, um, but let's do our carousel horses first. I'm gonna use some post-it tape to hold my dies in place so they don't slip. The horses may look like they are the same, but they are a little bit different. So play around with your dies to find the exact right die for each horse. Look at the tail, the head, the pole. Make sure all of it is centered before you tape down that die. Kind of want to get wiggle it around. Oops, I just moved that one like that. And then put on your clear plate. That is post-it tape. I'll have a link for you on my blog. It is uh, from Amazon, and I believe you can get it at office supply stores as well. All right, now to make our carousel, I've got some gold foil, and we're gonna use this die right here. It's gonna cut up the top of um, the carousel as well as that bottom um, base piece right here. All right, so we'll start with that. Let's see, will that fit across? No, we'll have to turn it. All right, and then we're gonna use this piece and this piece. And we're gonna use, we'll start with our berry burst piece. And I'm gonna put that, hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna put that right there. Now for the next piece of shimmer, you only need the segments for the top and so we're only going to cut out that top part these two segments right here I've cut a much larger piece of glimmer paper than I need all right now I need to cut this piece I forgot 
this other base from our fairy burst, but we'll also run this one through. And like I mentioned, my piece is way too big. So I'm gonna just cut out the bottom section right there and save that, the rest of it for another project. It'll all make sense here in just a second. So we just need that piece and that piece, if I can get it to come out from the bubble bath glimmer paper, shimmer paper, and there's the base. All right, so now let's put it all together. We have a piece of basic white and I'm just gonna use my liquid glue and I think we'll start on the bottom with our gold base. About right there. And then we'll add in our very burst base pedestal. And we need to start straight or everything's gonna be crooked. All right, now I'm gonna take the larger section, the larger piece, and I'm gonna take those segments out. We don't need those because we're gonna fill it in with the bubble bath. Okay, put that right there. The measurements for all of the pieces on this card, including the white and the bubble bath base I'm gonna put on it, or the mat, will be on a free PDF on my blog. So make sure that you Click the link here on YouTube to hop over there and grab that free PDF. Now I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to pick, oops, hello, we don't need those colors, we need these colors over here. So you could essentially save those and make two cards using the larger bubble bath section with the smaller berry burst segments if you wanted. All right, now, Grab your dimensionals. And we will put this adorable little piece right here. Okay. And then we'll get our carousel horses. And I'm gonna kind of put the pole up there, slide it underneath that canopy. And then we'll do the same thing here on this edge like that. How adorable. Now I've got my bubble bath mat. I'm gonna put that on here. And see these little oval shapes here? I found that we have the perfect embellishment for that. These are our, well, let me tell you the official name, opaque ovals. And I'm just gonna take, I'm gonna use three of them. One in the middle, one over here, and one on the other side right there. Now one last thing I wanna to do to my carousel horses, if I can find my Wink of Stella, is to just add some shimmer to the horse. You can also add it to the, the mane if you want, but be careful your Wink of Stella will pick up that ink, so don't go from the mane to the white part because you might transfer that ink. Um, I found that our Sweet Sorbet Metallic Ribbon matches really well here with the Berry Burst um, shimmer paper. So I am gonna use that to create a bow. Use a mini glue dot. And put that right up top. Okay, now let's finish the layers of our card. I have the, a piece of DSP that is something eclectic, and we're gonna use Berry Burst 
And if I can find them, our little flower stamp, which is right over here. And I'm just going to stamp the flowers multiple times around the edge. Okay. Got ink on my hands. I don't want to get that on my paper. I've got a Berry Burst card base. The color in on this paper looks like maybe it's crushed curry. Um, I, I am using wild wheat on the inside because the wild wheat ink looks like gold. So I'll show you that in just a sec. I didn't want to clutter this up with the sentiment. So we're gonna stamp the sentiment on the inside on just a piece of basic white. So you're gonna take your wild wheat ink pad, one of our new in colors, and stamp the banner. And then I'm gonna take those same flowers, and do one there and one there, and then we'll use the Let's Celebrate stamp, which, here we go, <laughs> my table's a mess. And I'm gonna stamp that in Berry Burst right there in the middle of our banner. And then we'll just adhere that on the inside of our card. This is a great card um, for a birthday, for really anything when you use the sentiment, let's celebrate. There's also a sentiment in this stamp set that says happy birthday that you could use as well. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed this card. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube to go visit my blog and get that free PDF. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.